Unfortunately, in the spiritual industry, there are many people who are more interested in making money rather than giving legitimate spiritual advice. Some ways that you can identify a fraudulent psychic is that they tell you that an outcome is certain or that's destined to happen. They may ask many probing questions trying to get you to share information that you feel uncomfortable with. They may also give vague answers that could apply to many different situations in many people's lives. These are red flags that indicate that an advisor you're talking to is not tapped in, or they may not even be legitimate. Another sign that a psychic is false is if they contact you first, asking you to get a reading with them. This is definitely a red flag. Fraudulent psychics may also tell you that you're cursed or try to convince you that you need additional spiritual services or readings or advice from them. They might ask you to confirm whether information that they're giving you during a session is true or not. These are all signs that the person that you're speaking with is not a legitimate psychic advisor and should be avoided. Some signs that indicate that a person is a legitimate psychic advisor include the following. They do not ask a lot of questions. They might ask for a name or a birthday of the person that you're asking about. But besides that, there isn't really much that they need to know in order to tap into the energies of a person or a situation. They're also more likely to admit when they can't tap in or when they can't access information. If they're unable to answer a question or connect to your energy, a legitimate advisor will usually tell you that. Legitimate psychics typically won't ask you to confirm whether or not what they're receiving is true in your life. Finally, a real psychic will allow you to come to them and do not usually initiate contact first. 